Hey what's up guys, Chris here from Security Bros back with another video and today I will be reviewing the Anran 5 megapixel outdoor PTZ Wi-Fi IP security camera. If you are looking for an outdoor PTZ Wi-Fi IP camera with good image quality and great zooming capabilities without breaking the bank, then this might be what you're looking for. The camera sells for $220 on Amazon when making this video, but you can also buy it from AliExpress for only $160, which I think is a good price for this camera. The one I have is from a company called Anran, and for full transparency to you guys, they did send me this camera over for review. However, any opinions in this video is strictly my own based on my experiences using this camera. I will go over both pros and cons. And if you are interested in buying this camera, you will find my affiliate links in the video description down below with the most updated prices. So the camera comes with a 5 megapixel sensor and a resolution of 2560 by 1920, but that's such a weird format that doesn't fit most screens. So all the recordings I've done is made in 1440p. It has a 20 times optical zoom using a 4.7 to 90 mm barifocal lens and you can pan the camera 355 degrees and tilt it 90 degrees. For night vision it uses 6 infrared lights and I think night vision looked okay. Not the sharpest image quality but still decent and according to the seller it should work up to 60 meters. The camera uses an app called Cam High, which is an app I've tested before and it works okay. You will get instant push notifications on your phone when motion is detected and you can view the recorded footage saved on the SD card. It will record a short 15 second clip. The motion detection is very sensitive, even a bit too sensitive at times, since I got a couple of false alarms from the trees moving around, so I had to turn the sensitivity all the way down to the lowest. It comes with a 64GB SD card already installed and the reason for that is it's not easily accessible. You will need to open up the camera to have access to it. It does support UNVIF so you can use this with any NVR or software that supports UNVIF. A problem with the camera they sent me is that there is a small black spot on the lens, probably dirt, but to remove it you would need to open up the camera and clean it. So if I had bought this camera I would have asked for a replacement. The camera supports two-way audio and it comes with an external speaker that you connect to the audio port on the camera. The speaker is really loud and you can easily hear it from 10 meters away when someone is talking through the camera. And this is how the audio sounds like and as you can hear it's really loud. Okay so what we get in the box is the camera, power adapter, antenna, speaker, instructions manual, a ethernet cover and a bag of screws. First impression of the camera is that it feels very solid built. The upper part is made of metal and the lower part is made of plastic, but it's not the cheap plastic some cameras are made of. It feels really good and I'm sure this camera will last a long time being outdoors. To access the camera with a CamHi app, you can either do it by connecting an ethernet cable to the camera from your router or you can connect using AP mode. I will show you how you do it using an ethernet cable. So plug in the power cable and then the ethernet cable and wait for 60 seconds. Open up the app and click on add camera and then click on search camera from LAN and your camera should show up here. Click on it and then add name and password. The default name and password is admin. Then click done and you are connected. To add your Wi-Fi, just go to Wi-Fi settings and then add your home network and password. Now you can remove the ethernet cable. You can also access the camera through a web interface using your web browser and to do that just insert the IP address of the camera that your router has assigned for it and log in. Same here default username and password is admin. In here we have more control over the camera compared to the app. We get PTZ controls and zoom in zoom out. Another nice feature this camera has is we can control the speed of the pan and tilt from 1 to 63 where 63 is really fast and 1 is really slow. I think around 45 is a good speed. And here we also have access to all the settings and I will just quickly show you what settings there is to play around with.
Okay, so back on the app. Here on the main screen we got picture, which is where you will find screenshots and they are saved on the phone. And in video we can access alarm clips saved on the SD card, as well as recordings you've done manually, which are saved on the phone. If you have online selected you have access to the SD card, and on local you will find recordings you have done on your phone. If we click on settings and then alarm settings, we can turn on and off motion detection, select where on the screen we want motion detection by moving the square, and we can also adjust the sensitivity here. In action with alarm, we can turn on and off notifications, and to record to the SD card, make sure you have the alarm SD rec selected. And then we got some other settings here as well you can play around with. If we go back out and click on the camera, we get some controls here as well. We don't have any PTZ controls here, but we can move it by dragging our fingers on the screen. It's not easy controlling it though. We can also flip the screen, zoom, set preset points, and I do recommend you do that instead of trying to move the camera manually each time, much faster using preset points. We can turn off night vision, turn on and off the sound, take screenshots, record video, and also change the image quality. And that's the settings we got in the app. Okay, let's have a look at some recordings. I will show you a few different recordings I did. In this clip I did speed up the video at some part since the camera operator were not used to the PTZ controls. And as you can see here the camera is really good at reading license plates and you could easily read a plate number of 50 meters. Here we have nighttime, and this is not in complete darkness since there is a street light just across the street. Here I also use preset points when I move the camera, and as you can see it's much better than trying to move the camera manually.
And this is me testing how long it takes to get the push notification on your phone when motion is detected. As you can see on the screen, that's where I set the camera to detect motion. And I have also switched over to mobile data. Alright my friends, I think that's all I had for this video. Thank you for watching and hopefully I see you in my next video. Take care.